CBC class 10 math video solution to the sample question paper given by the board for the board examination to be conducted in 2021. This is the standard version of the paper. Now, the first of the two mark questions in the paper, this is from the chapter real numbers, right? I'm going to spend a bit of time in this question, right? One, I'm going to walk you through the logic. I'm going to help you understand what we are doing. That is in one of the slides. Subsequently, I'll walk you through how we should solve this in the examination, right? So first part is learning. Second part is how we are going to get marks for this particular learning, right? Let's get started with the question. Three bells ring at an interval of 4, 7 and 14 minutes. All the three bells rang at 6 a.m. When will the three bells ring together next is what the question is. Let's just basically list down the times when they will ring based on the information given and then decode what is to be done. That's the learning part. Let's finish it. It'll take us about a minute or a minute and a half. Subsequently, let's actually go and do what is to be done. Step one, step two, step three. What are we going to write in the examination to get marks, right? This we are right now in the learning phase. So I'm going to say this is bell number one, two and three. All three bells rang at 6 a.m. So let me put a tick mark here, right? All three of them rang at 6 a.m. The first bell is going to ring four minutes from then and every four minutes from then. The next time it's going to ring, I'm going to write the minute values around 6, 4, it'll ring 6, 8, 6, 12, 6, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32 and so on. So I'll quickly realize the first bell is going to ring at values, minutes, right? At time intervals, which are multiples of four from multiples of four, right? From 6 a.m., right? So 6, 4, 6, 8, 6, 12. So that is four minutes, eight minutes, 12 minutes from 6 a.m. is when they're going to be ringing. Let's look at the second one. It's going to ring every seventh minute. So now that we know that if it rings every fourth minute, it's going to ring at multiples of four. If it, the second bell is going to ring every seventh minute, it's going to be ringing at multiples of seven. So six, seven, six, 14. No, they're not ringing together. Six, 21. No, six, 28. These two bells seem to be ringing together. Good, but we need to find out when will all three ring together next. The third bell rings at intervals of 14 minutes, which means it's going to ring every 14th minute or at time intervals, which are multiples of 14. The first multiple of 14 is a 14. The second one is a 28. We we'll quickly spot that at 628, all these three bells are ringing. Right. If you have understood this, the answer is obviously 628, but this is not going to fetch you marks. We'll learn the concept once more and then apply it with the steps in the next slide. The so first bell rings at multiples of four. Second one rings at multiples of seven. Third one rings at multiples of 14. So when will all of them ring together? When we find such a number, which is a multiple of four and a multiple of seven and a multiple of 28, which means at numbers, which are common multiples of four, seven and 14. The question is asking, when will it ring next together? Which means we'll have to find out the first such common multiple, the lowest such common multiple, the least such common multiple. Essentially, when will they ring together next? That value is going to be the least common multiple or LCM of 4, 7 and 14. So understood the concept, now I'm going to write the steps to get marks, right? Steps are basically this. We'll say all three bells will ring together, will ring together next when that is going to be equal to the LCM of these three numbers, 4, 7 and 14 minutes from 6 o'clock, right? LCM of this minutes after 6 a.m., right? This is step number one. Step number two, we're going to compute the LCM. You can compute the LCM in a couple of ways. We're going to be using the prime factorization method. Prime factorize 4, 4 is equal to 2 square. Prime factorize 7, that's a 7 prime factor is 14, that's equal to 2 times 7. The LCM is nothing but the product of all prime factors in their highest power. The prime factors that we see are 2 and 7. The highest power of 2 is a 2 square. The highest power of 7 is a 7 power 1. So 2 square times 7, which is 4 times 7, which is equal to 28. The LCM is 28. The next time they'll ring together is going to be 6 o'clock plus 28, which is 628 a.m., right? So step 1, saying that it'll ring together at the LCM. Step two is computing the LCM. Step three is writing the time, which is 6.28 a.m. Write these three steps, you'll get two marks, right? Best wishes for your board examination. Got a couple of months left before the examinations for math examination is going to be there, right? Put in all the effort, solve 10 to 15 questions a day, right? 60 days, you'll have covered 1,000 questions. Solve at least four to five sample question papers or previous year's question papers. You'll be well equipped to scoring a centum in the math. Best wishes for getting a centum in the CBC class 10 math. Before you leave, I want you to do two things. One, sign up at online.maxitude.com to get started with 
CBSE Class 10 Math Online Tuitions. It takes all of 5 minutes and less than 3 steps to get started. And second thing, I want you to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that you get notified every time a new video is uploaded. Spread the word about this channel to your friends and classmates.